you know what students why i'm making this video because i have seen a lot of students working really really hard for their iit dream yet they are not able to do so because they are making these five mistakes that are holding them back and i want all of you to fix these five mistakes before moving ahead with your j preparation let's see what are these mistakes so guys first thing is selective study so students are like oh my god this is my favorite topic i'm going to do this i'll do this uh, so tough topic i don't like this topic so i'll do this in the end right and you know what that end never comes right so stop procrastinating because je is a balanced exam there is easy there are tough there are moderate topics you have to select the topics that you are good in but at least you need to try it first maybe the topic that you are getting scared of is actually easy and you're going to have a good hold over it maybe a very easy questions will question will be asked from that particular topic that you are skipping so you have to try it and you have to see what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses for that i am giving you a super easy time table your daily routine that is in the morning pick up your tough topic that you are really scared of right in the afternoon pick it some easy topic then in the evening pick moderate topic right and in the night you will do revision of the volatile topics now before waking up and before sleeping you will do revision of the topics that you tend to forget a lot right and in this case you can you know adjust the time table a little bit but let's understand how to do these topics so if you talk about volatile topics for that you must have short notes formula sheets ncert highlights for easy ones you should do previous year questions then periodic revision like after half, after 7 8 days you must revise those topics and stop being over confident on the topics that you are pro in because anyone can do mistakes so you have to be very uh, careful while solving the questions that are you making silly mistakes in the topics that you find quite easy then for the moderate topics will do theory revision from the short notes and then previous year questions right and from the weak topics that is you are really really scared of in this case you will firstly watch a one shot or a detailed lecture of that particular topic or chapter then previous year questions then definitely because it's a weak topic most probably you will do a lot of mistakes that's very common but after that you will do error analysis and you will try to correct those mistake try to analyze that what is the thing that you are lagging behind right then second thing is fear of test ma'am ma'am i feel very under confident ma'am ma'am i'll do it tomorrow ma'am ma'am i have so many backlogs now i'll not do it i'll do it in the jan ma'am i'll not start the mock test now what is the mistake you are doing here ma'am i am just waiting for my syllabus to get completed you know you are actually making a lot of excuses because you are scared you are scared of making mistakes you are scared that i you will lose your confidence and that's why you don't want to give the test for that for all the students who are in this loop who are stuck in this loop their syllabus is not being completed they are not able to give test guys understand one thing you have to give test it can be part syllabus test it can be chapter wise te test but you have to give it because you can make mistakes in the test but you can't afford to make mistakes in the exam and that is why we want you to make mistakes in the test because that can be eradicated because that will give you your weak points and you have time to correct those weak points so at least 25 mock tests you have to solve before your je mains right so 70% syllabus will be completed after that start solving full syllabus test before that so you can solve part syllabus test analyze and make mistakes notebook because that mistake notebook is going to tell you that where you are lagging behind and what are the points that you need to focus on now if you see this here every time you give a mock test you have to analyze it give as much importance you give to the mock test to your analysis because that is going to help you without analysis there is no use of mock test as simple as that right next mistake is ma'am one size fits all is it everyone in this world they have large size no you can't say there is one t-shirt and you will say everyone to 
fit this no right why why it is so why we have different different brands why everyone has different different shoe size why it is so because we are different in the same way subjects are also different you can't approach physics chemistry and mathematics with the same logic with the same approach that's not possible each topic each chapter is going to have their individual importance right let's see that in physics concept clarity should be there formula application not only just rote rote learning formula application and question practice is important right so no rote learning no just reading and reading the formulas that will not work here in chemistry memorize naming reaction so many things are there formula application understand language of question because they can confuse you in that then read theory and understand the theory point right in physical chemistry i'll tell you this in detail as well then in maths you have increase speed time because in maths managing the, managing the time with the accuracy is very important and the question practice should be your topmost priority in mathematics especially your previous year question at this point no other questions previous year questions right solving less questions you are doing a mistake here so don't do that now if i talk about chemistry in detail physical chemistry we know that it's about revise formula sheet then highlighted theory points and then practice questions here give mock tests practice questions in case of inorganic you should have a sticky wall where you have pasted all the volatile topics exception all these things right and the reason behind that then periodic table you should be able it, it, this picture should be in your head how periodic table is drawn that should be in your head which which element is where the electronic configurations and try to revise it on daily basis try to revise at least 15 15 minutes give 15 minutes to inorganic chemistry revision on daily basis right for organic chemistry do important mechanisms named reaction notebook revise it regularly and revise the reagents that are used in all different different uh, reactions right the last thing is overworking yourself so we have seen students that are like oh ma'am i have done ma'am 18 hours ma'am i have studied now i'm super proud of myself okay 18 hours you have studied but do you remember anything are you able to retain things ma'am i doubt it that's the problem so don't give a illusion that ma'am i have studied 18 hours to whom you want to show that to whom right you should be clear in your head that okay even if i am studying for let's say 10 or 11 hours but that 10 and 11 hours it's a dedicated study everything that i'm studying there i remember every single thing i understand every single concept that is good so 11 to 12 hours of effective study is better than 17 to 18 hours of passive study for that always remember that you should have 7 hours of sleep minimum then divide your study schedule according to pomodoro technique that you can study for 2 hours and then you can relax for 15 minutes then you can study for 1 hour and relax for 10 minutes this kind of schedule should be there so that your brain does not get tired right then every 2 hours get some movement also do some little bit of uh, exercise you can walk also and also remember that eat home cooked food because one single food poisoning is going to waste around 15 to 20 days or days of yours right and that is going to you're going to regret it in the end that's why at this point don't eat any outside food right eat simple home cooked food for your own so we can't afford to get ill right now that we can't afford right then next next thing is guys compiling doubts so students are always of the thing that okay i have solved the mock test i have i don't know why i'm making mistake in this particular question again and again and they don't ask anyone they every time they are able they are solving some question they do some mistake there they are not able to identify that mistake so talk to your friend talk to your teacher instead of google you have to talk to the person you have to talk to the teacher ask your doubts at this point don't be embarrassed of asking your doubts right let me google the solution self isolation all these things are not going to give you anything always remember discussion is very very important then maintain subject wise doubt notebook right 
discuss your doubt with teachers and then write it down in the notebook and review the notebook before the mock test and after the mock test fill in the mistakes in your mistake notebook and this is the sequence that you need to do right okay so all i am focusing right now is ma'am test 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 you have to give this is the right time to start giving test and for that you really need to have good test series right and that is why guys here you will click on this particular uh, channel you will see in the live section there is ranked eclavia rank booster j test series right if you click here then here what you will see guys this is the session that is going to take place on 28th at 6 pm where every single detail about the test series what surprise what all you are going to get in this test series shreya sir is going to tell you and this is going to be a very very important thing the thing that you need at this point because you can't do practice random questions right you have to do those questions that are aligned with the trend that are aligned with the analysis that is going on right now and that is the reason this test series is going to be a game changer so everybody mark your attendance by clicking on the like button here and we want to see you all on 28 at 6 pm live on this channel so see you all and i want you guys to write it down in the chat box hashtag no mistake hashtag j2026 ready if you are ready for that write it down in the hash uh, in the comment section write down the hashtag i am waiting for your comments in the comment section till then bye bye take care thank you